Hello, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. In this video, I'm going to talk about what both number sequences mean. So 111, a big one I get is 44. Uh, what specific number sequences mean and also what signs mean in your reality. And um, yeah, we'll see what you think about this. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon below. I'm putting out a ton of new content right now. And also, if you want to work with me one on one, I do offer sessions. There is a link for my sessions below as well as links to my manifesting courses below. OK, so what do signs mean? This is a big thing. Angel numbers and signs and what do all those things mean? You might not like my answer. <laughs> They actually don't mean anything. Well, okay. In a larger, in the largest sense, they don't mean anything. What they mean to you is what they mean. Okay, so what, what does this mean? Um, you are, you are God in your reality. You are the operant power, which means you make all the rules. And so if you create rules about what certain number sequences mean or what certain uh, signs mean, then they mean whatever you, whatever you created them to mean. So a big one is 1111. A lot of people, for them, that symbolizes alignment. Okay, great. If you've created the belief system that 1111 equals alignment in your life, then that's what it means. But it's not that 1111 separate from you means alignment. It's just that you have the belief it means alignment, therefore it means alignment. So are you understanding the distinction there? I have a good story about this in my own life. And this was how I started awakening to this recognition of how powerful we are, how much we are creating in our realities. So a number that I see all the time, and I still see it all the time, is 44. That's like my big number. I see it. Oh my gosh, I see it so much. And so a couple months back, I was seeing the number 44 a lot. And every time, of course, I would see it, then I would have a reaction to 44. I'd be like, oh my gosh, there it is again. Not really knowing yet. I didn't know if it was like, is the universe giving me a sign or what? what is this? So I would impress my, every time I'd see it, I'd impress my subconscious mind, which made it appear in my reality more and more so that I got to the point where I was literally seeing 44, maybe 50 times a day. Like I'd, I'd walk into a parking lot and like four cor cars would have 44 on the license plate. Like it was, it was wild. It was everywhere. But what I realized, this was again part of my awakening to the recognition of how much of my reality I'm creating. Um, what I realized was 44 wasn't being given to me from some outside source. So sometimes we think that the universe out there is giving us these signs. Um, there is no out there. <laughs> there is no universe out there. There's no God out there. You are the God. You are the universe. You are the creator. And so for me, when I was seeing 44, all that was happening was that I kept impressing my subconscious mind with the number 44 because I'd react to it every time I saw it. And then it'd keep showing up in my reality. And so what I had to do when I realized this, I was like, oh my gosh, it's just because I'm like responding to the number 44. It's showing up out there. So what I just thought on my thing too. So what I had to do was, um, I meant on my, the time thing up there. What I had to do was start to stop reacting to the number 44 to start dissolving it a little bit out of my field because it was showing up so much. I was at the point where I was like, I don't want to see it anymore. So I'd have to start dissolving, just like not really responding to the number 44. So anyways, what, what I'm trying to say with this video is that this is really important. When you think you are receiving a sign from the universe, when people talk about that, 
they're often talking about it in the sense that the universe is out there giving you something. This is not how, this is not how it works. This isn't what, how reality is. I mean, at, at a certain level of um, consciousness, yes, you think that the universe is giving you something. You go deeper, you are the universe. You are the creator of everything. So there is no out there giving you something. Any sign that you see has been manifested by you. It's been manifested by you. So whatever um, meaning you place on signs, that's fine. You can place whatever meaning you want. Just know that it, the sign only means that because you say it does. Okay, I hope that makes sense. I hope the distinction makes sense. It's, it's um, basically what I'm trying to say is there's nothing that's a universal sign for everyone. Like 1111 doesn't mean the same thing for everyone because we each choose in our reality what that means. You are the God. You choose what everything means. You choose what every sign means, okay? Without you, the sign is empty. It doesn't mean anything. It's just another thing showing up in your reality. You place the meaning on everything. Okay, so I hope this makes sense. I'm curious what you think about it or what you feel about it. I think a lot of people, yeah, I'm just curious what you would think about that. So I just saw 44 again. <laughs> So if you um, like this video, please like it below, comment, and let me know what you think about it. I would love to hear, and I will see you soon. Bye.